Recently, I completed my goal of watching every anime series worth talking about. If it was very good or popular, I would watch it. Even if it was a popular anime series that I dislike, I would still watch it and finish the entire series. For over 5 years, I've watched and reviewed well over a thousand anime series, not to mention, there are many anime series I watch, but not reviewed, such as Dragon Ball Z. I didn't feel like reviewing that one because imagine the number of reviews regarding that anime series. Many people have already reviewed it over the years. No one really wants to review that anime series anymore. At this point, I've seen everything you need to watch as an anime fan, and I know all the best anime series out there. Today I'll be talking about the top 5 best anime series of all time. Number 5 on my list is Fruit Basket 2019 version. From everything I heard about the original 2001 anime series, I expect a cliche romance comedy anime series, but the 2019 version was much more than that. This was one of the most emotional anime series I have ever seen. The anime gives us these intriguing characters that each have a sad past and multiple issues they have to overcome in life. They may seem okay and cheerful on the outside, but on the inside, they are struggling and feel lost in what to do with their life. They feel very unhappy. Throughout this anime series, we see each character face the problems they are having in their life and really change their life around for the better. It's not just the important main characters that undergo great character development, but the side characters as well. This was just shocking to see. To see an anime series give character development to all the characters is just something you don't see. Too many times in other anime series, the side characters don't get character development because the amount of screen time it takes. But for this series, it spent many episodes developing each character. The characters were given great characterization from the start, as we learned much about them, such as motivations and problems in life. We get to see a true personality hide from people. We understand everything about these characters, and then we can see these very same characters overcome their insecurities and problems in life. We seem to develop a confident and determined character. This is what good writing is all about. This is what you're supposed to do as a writer. Make great characters that fans of the series can build a strong emotional connection to and give these characters proper character development. It really makes watching this entire anime feel fulfilling and satisfying to watch. Number 4 on my list is Steins Gate. This is a sci-fi anime series that got many people's attention during the time that it aired in. The anime centered around time travel, and anime fans really liked the time traveling concept. It was entertaining seeing Okabe change the past in several ways, and seeing the drastic change that occurred in present time because of it. It led to all sorts of wild scenarios, including a really horrific scenario. The halfway point of this anime series really keeps your interest in the show, as you watch to see if Okabe can change this is a seemingly impossible scenario that can't be changed. That part got very dramatic and emotional to watch. Throughout the anime, the concept around time traveling is so fascinating with how complex and complicated it can be. There are just so many things that can change the entire timeline. It makes you curious to see what exactly needs to happen for the best possible outcome. Number 3 on my list is Hunter x Hunter 2011 version. This anime series is a long battle show anime series but it was must watch. Right away this anime had much different feel to it than other battle show anime series. Too many times in battle show anime series, the main character suddenly gets a power up, or there's a time skip where it becomes powerful, but you don't get to see a training. But in this anime series, it shows everything. It didn't leave out any training session. Not only that, but there is no dumb power friendship moment here. The strong will simply defeat the weak. Because of all this, the fights and the events were logical for the most part, and there wasn't many dumb, illogical moments. That being said, there were some moments that seemed like plot armor for the main character. It can be explained, but many people will still see it as plot armor. For an anime series that is 148 episodes long, it's still impressive that there are only two possible illogical moments. The characters in the show are very likable because they are not typical heroes that protect people. They don't care about justice. They only get angry if it hurts their friends. But if it isn't their friend and doesn't affect them, then they don't really care that much. It was just a refreshing change seeing characters that have a more selfish side to them and not try to act like heroes. The battles in this anime series were some of the best fights in anime. 
There is great strategy being used by all the characters. The characters carefully plan out their attacks, and the pacing is just right. It doesn't feel like the fights are being dragged out, or end too quickly. This is one of the most enjoyable battle showing anime series I've seen. Number two on my list is Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. I'm sure many people are shocked about this being number two on the list. After all, it is usually placed as number one for many people. I even had number one for many years. That is until I watched the greatest anime series of all time a couple years ago. That being said, this anime series is still an all-time great. The anime made sure side characters were important throughout the entire show. They played their parts during the battles and really helped save the world. Too many times side characters are thrown to the side and forgotten during battle show and anime series, but not here. It wasn't just main characters saving the world. Everyone else also played an important role. The alchemy aspect of this anime series was pretty entertaining, as we learned what is required in alchemy and the powerful things that can be done through it. It can be used in really horrific ways at times. The anime overall was a great journey of two main characters, Edward and Al, finding a way to get their body parts back. Number one on my list in the best anime series of all time is Legend of the Galactic Heroes. The one that I'm talking about is the old anime series that started in 1988 and was over 100 episodes. It isn't the most exciting anime series or an anime that I recommend to people that are just getting to anime. But in terms of writing and great characters, it is clearly the best. When I first heard of this anime series, it was only some people saying it was the best. The majority of people were still saying Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood is the best. Even though this anime series is highly regarded, when was the last time I actually heard an anime YouTuber talk about the series? It hardly ever gets talked about within the anime community. So is it really the best if hardly anyone knows about it? We should all know by now that being most popular doesn't mean it is the best. If that was the case, Sword Art Online would be seen as the best anime series of all time. People don't want to give this anime series a chance because the anime series is old and is well over 100 episodes. But once I watched this entire series, I can understand the praise behind it now. The writing is just so good right from the start. There aren't any plot holes or plot armor like many other anime series. There is no power of motions or power of friendship. There aren't any illogical moments you have to accept just because it's anime. Too many times people accept illogical moments and say it's anime being anime. Everything in the show makes sense from start to finish. All the characters' actions are well planned out. If you've never heard of this anime series before, it's a space anime series about the main character of Rise to become an emperor. It's rare that they could see a main character in a position of power where everyone relies on his decision making and he has to deal with political enemies often. It was fascinating seeing protagonist Ryan Haruto rise from being intelligent commander of the Empire to become the Emperor himself. The protagonist is good as gets. He'll do anything it takes to rise to power, but at the same time, he still cares about his family and friends and keeps his main side. He knows that the path to greatness is stained with blood, and he accepts it. He's basically a more reasonable version of Griffith from Berserk. He's as smart and as cold-hearted as Griffith, but the one thing he won't do is betray his friends. He really values friends, and doesn't think he's above them at all. He values their opinions, which is what makes him so great as a leader. He's just so likable as protagonist, and can't wait to see how he'll turn out as emperor. Will he keep true to himself, or become corrupt with power? The political aspect of the anime series is very entertaining because it's not just boring speeches and people trying to get public opinion on the side. It's characters of great political strategies to get rid of opponents without getting suspicion on them. It is like interesting mind games being played between the protagonist and his political enemies. It is a battle to see who can outsmart each other and land the failed blow. It was intriguing seeing the daily life of the Emperor and the responsibilities that goes along with it. The MA series makes sure the viewers don't get bored by balancing the political conversations and the intense battles. The battles are so exciting to watch because they take place in space, and most of them are to the death. It wasn't about which character had a bigger army. It was more about who could think of a plan to trick the enemy and get past the enemy's defense first. It was about the patience and skill. It was interesting seeing characters try to outmaneuver each other, 
and land a strike and land the decisive strike. Young Wenli was a character that was on opposing side flying Ryan Harto, and he made for a great rival. It was like he anticipate Ryan Harto's every action. It led to intense rivalry between two characters, as one character just couldn't get the decisive edge of another. Another great thing about the Samic series is that mostly there weren't any good guys or bad guys. In this anime series, it's just characters with different opinions on how the government should be run. What is seen as good or evil is really subjective. Everyone always sees their own actions as righteous and justified. Just like how it is in real life. Overall, this anime series was a masterpiece that I won't forget. It had it all. From great writing, to great characters, to great battles. It really stands above the rest. So, that's all I'm going to talk about for this video. Have a great day night, wherever you are.